What's going on, YouTube? You know who I am, and this is the What's the Word podcast with your boy, Black Pegasus. And you already know who this is. That singer reactions. Anthony Ray. <laughs> Fat man, <laughs> Cliff Beats. <laughs> Loud as hell. <laughs> this Let's video go. is sponsored by KFC. Eat more food. Let's go. And so I anyways, like what is going on? As you can see, we have finally come together. This is a very, very special meeting of the minds I would say for our first ever inaugural What's the Word podcast. And gentlemen, what what is the word today? Is it is it origins? What's popping here? What, how are we doing? Free, free balling. Oh no. It's free We're balling. already starting on that. <laughs> free balling. Origins. I think I think yeah. I think going into everyone's backstory would be a good idea. Yeah. All Back right. Backstory. Pause. Wow. Backstory, free balling, and uh mm. orgies. I mean origin stories. Oh, interesting. Uh interesting. Yep. Yep. Who wants yeah, to right. pick that one up hmm. or rear end it? I feel like my <laughs> dang. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> see that one coming. Yo, yo Knox is moving crazy, fam. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I got, I, I got time today. I can start it. I'll start <laughs> okay. it out. Let's go, Dom. Because yeah, yeah. my story is goofy. A lot of people already know my story. But um, I started out uh, on YouTube like 14 years ago, technically, singing. Um. And I did like Halo, got 200K. Didn't know nothing about monetization back then. This when the goddamn box was in the, you know, in the description. You remember when you could put your yeah. box down there, you know what I'm saying? And uh, people could click on the box or whatever. Um, so, yeah. But then I stopped all that for some reason. And then I did reactions uh, eight years ago. And I started it from there. I'm talking about when Time Warner Cable and the box, you know what I'm saying? Screen TVs and all this stuff. So I did that. And, um. I'm going to try to shorten this story because it's long as hell for real. Um, but I was starting out with R&B, pretty much doing all that stuff. And then I ended up kind of getting into rock because people was requesting it. And everything kind of took off from there. I didn't even know a single thing about monetization. Somebody told me four years later. Me. I <laughs> at the Harry Mack wow. show. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And four years later... Like uh shout out to Tobias, but four years later, um he hit me up and was like, uh, you got your monetization on, right? And I was like, No, how the hell you do that? You ain't got a check. I was like, nah, I ain't I ain't got I'm 20k now in. Like, wow, you ain't got no check. I was like, nah, I, I didn't know that you could do I was just completely dumb when it came to YouTube. So I ended up turning it on everything that I had that was like 300K and up, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't get paid for it. I was salty as hell. I said, man, ain't this not this? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's my my story, man. And I'm here, YouTube platform and everything growing. And uh, were you, you know doing Rich? were you doing covers? Like when you first got started with your singing? Like yeah, what, I, what were you doing? I was doing covers on a karaoke machine. That's right. On a Let's karaoke go. machine, I did Halo, and um, yeah, bro, Halo that. and covers. I mean, that's that's the YouTube origin story, right Literally. there. Literally, yes. I got yes. some reactions to do, man. God damn, um, let me check those out. Yeah, send us the link. No, 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 no. The they, 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 I have no <laughs> clue where it's vanished into space. I don't even know where it is. It was like 14 years ago. That channel I tried to pull up, it won't even pop up no more. Like I was like, oh, okay. So they just said. We're going to get rid of this because it's been inactive, you know? So I was like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it was a dope channel, bro. And So for, 14 years ago, you were, that was like the dial-up days, wasn't it? And like instant messenger and shit? It, it was it was a goddamn AOL. <laughs> it was giving, it was giving, it was my AOL. day, we walked 15 miles yeah. through the snow. <laughs> He's Thank in my day, videos. we had, had AOL back in that day, you know? Yeah, nah, that was, yeah, it was old as hell, man. Like I said, looking at where I was now with that fuzzy-ass camera that I had, bro, everything was fuzzy. Like, I said, how did I record and think that this looked at nice? Like, I thought I was swagged out with my big-ass forehead and hat. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I had no ball spot, so everything could flourish the way, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, nah, I had to go ahead and keep that hat as a representation of me. You know what I mean? Hell, yeah. That's what did, story what, for you, how, how did you start reaction videos though like what got you into the reaction stage? so the crazy thing about that bro was is the way i react 
you see me react, you know, I'm kind of dramatic, bubbly and all that stuff. That's exactly how I react when the cameras is off. If I hear, if I'm watching the voice or if I'm watching battle rap, this is exactly how I am. Mm, that was nasty. Stop playing me. Ah! Woo, what kind of round was that? Oh, I'm like, oh, come on now. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's how I react off camera. And something made me just say, well, let me reactions is look like you're kind of on a little wave. So let me, you know, record something, I guess, on my phone and look at the video on my phone. And then Kai Master was the software. So I kind of just did both on my phone, you know, and that's how that became that, bro. It's wild, man. It was live. It was live. It was it was a time, bro. Broke ass time. But yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> broke ass time, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, that's crazy. That's funny, that, man. What about y'all, that. man? How I y'all love that star, man. Who's up next? Um, I'll go after it. I got on uh, YouTube in 2006. Uh, and I think I what uploaded my fuck? first. What the fuck? That was a year? 2006? Bro. And that yeah. was back YouTube. when I graduated high school. <laughs> YouTube existed, If you get on my then? channel, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's my first music video that I dropped. I got to look in this 2006, up. 2006. Wow. 2006. Well, Keep damn. on moving. Black Pegasus. Well, Hold on, I'm about to look it up. 2006. Damn. Dude. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, showing my wings. I was baby Cliff. Hold on. Videos. Oldest. So the oldest video, 17 years ago. Yeah. God damn. YouTube is on there. <laughs> <laughs> my oldest video. My, fir- my first video. Is my o- it's my first music video. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, um, shit, I mean, I've been, I started for the people that don't know, I started rapping like in a recording studio in probably like 1998. I put out my first album in 1999 and then started trying to, you know, do the shit in 2000 and, uh, 2003, I hit this, the, the national scene in scribble jam and got second place in that battle. And that kind of put me on the map. And, um, I'm saying all this to lead up to my YouTube because what happens is in 2003, I come back home and then I'm able to start doing shows and somewhat live off music and battle rapping. And by 2004, 2005, I'm like really doing shows and just grinding it out. And because of that, it leads to music videos. And I record my first music video with these um, like uh, dudes from college who are just trying a project. And they, you know, I had been doing shows. They saw, they shot my first music video. We put it on my YouTube channel in 2006. So that's how my YouTube channel got started from that music video, from my career. Um, I always try to attack YouTube and blow up with my music. And I always was releasing music. I was pretty consistent. I always had pretty uh, uh Bro, you've had some good... amazing features over the years. Sorry to interrupt you, but like, you know, this, this man has worked with some people. Continue. Thank you. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I've always tried to push the envelope with the music videos as well. Like they've been like uh, you know cutting edge, but what I didn't understand is how to move the metric with the algorithm. And I'm really just starting to learn that now through the reaction space, which is kind of ironic. So, to make a super long story short, I get on YouTube because of my rap career. My rap career is pretty consistent. I have my pop in 2006. I'm riding a wave till 2009, 2010. It starts to slow down and then I get into throwing concerts, but I'm still on YouTube doing stuff. And um, fast forward to 2020, the pandemic hits and I had been wanting to start a, uh, a podcast with my boy Don, which now we're the 40 year old FUQ boys. But we've been wanting to start a podcast since I think uh, 2017, let's say. And the pandemic hit. We're like, yo, let's just do it. We started just recording like literally podcasts, talking culture, war, politics, trending topics. And one day we reacted to, uh, to Harry Mack because I was into freestyle. Who? I was like, yo, right. you know, who you know? is that guy? Yeah. I and, uh, um, I <laughs> intro- sounds familiar. I introed my boy Don to Harry Mack and we got a pop from that video. And then our second reaction was like an Andrew tip, uh, Andrew Tate clip that went viral. And I was like, yo, who is this? Da, 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 da. And that started moving. And long story short, my boy, we were partners in the podcast, but he had to go um, to do his professional job. And I was solo for like six or eight months. 
And one day I was doing a live stream and someone was like, yo, have you heard this song? And I was like, yeah, I have. This is fire. And I just started noticing people enjoyed when I was listening to like old school. I think it was like the Beat Nuts or something. And I was like, yo, I toured wow. with these guys and telling stories. That's crazy. And it just slowly, you know, because I've probably been reacting legitimately for one year consistently. But the first couple reactions probably started about two years ago. And once I understood what people are coming for and what it is, I just took it more serious. And now it allows me to put my music in front of people as well. Kind of like the Knox, you have a formula that's really a well put together. I'm sure probably a little more strategized than mine because um, I'm at a different point in my career in a sense. Like, I, you know, I'm not chasing it as much as I am just the more of just like just I'm just like, yo, I'm an entertainer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm wearing a bunch of different hats. Like I throw concerts. That's my main gig. Well, now YouTube's kind of my main gig. It's like this battle between throwing concerts and YouTube being my main gig right now. But, you know, I love to write and all that stuff. So that's kind of my origin story for the most part for YouTube. I think I think we all wear different hats, really. I think, you know, when you when you look at our group and everything that we do, we're all kind of juggling plates in different areas and still shout out to the bang finding the balance because we right. coming next year. Right. You feel me? <laughs> oh, here he goes. Here oh, he goes. He Who they? Dom switched. Who they? I was going to I was going to go. With it. All, right. <laughs> all right. All right. You yeah, look like all... a different person. When you, when you switch your hat, you look like a different person. That's crazy. I know. Sheesh. Who, me or BP? BP, when BP, BP switches yeah. his hat, he looks like a complete, he looks like his yeah. brother. It looks like somebody else. Yeah, because I never do that. Yeah, I'm not used <laughs> to that. I'm just B used to seeing you like that. BP, yeah. quick, quick question for you before we move on origin story wise. But like, have you had a moment with all these names that you work with over the years? Has there been like one person that you've just been like starstruck by? Like, it's like a surreal moment for you almost where it's like, yeah, so I'm with, um, I'm with this guy right now. Like, this is this is happening. Okay, I'm going to say two names and give examples. So Tech Nine and Immortal Technique. And it's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. Immortal because, Technique, um, man. Whoo, yeah, it's, it's crazy because Immortal Technique is like my bro. So there's no starstruck. We kick it. We, like, he is my guy. I'm my so guy. jealous of that. Tech, tech Nine is the homie. <laughs> But I, I don't even know how to like communicate. Like, I, you know, I don't know. Like, every, I get intimidated every time I'm with Techno. I'm like, uh, what do I say? Like, it's so strange. It's just the truth. Um, and it's not like I'm starstruck because I've been around Tech Nine so much, but there's just something where there's like a, a, a little bit of a, a barrier in a sense where he's always shows me love. I always show him love. We're very genuine, but we've never just sat down and got like super open. And, and, and then if you, but like me and Immortal are like homies, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like, there's certain pathways and connections that open up naturally. And I try not to force that, you know, and I just, I always looked at that because Tech 9 is, in my opinion, it's like the, it's the closest thing to working with any, like, you know, the dream chasers, right? Like, it's mm. like the closest thing to working with Eminem in my case, right? Or, mm. or these cats, these type of people, because he's worked with the upper echelon. He is the number one independent artist, period, in so many different categories. Okay. So um, mm. it's just one of those things where I'm, it's still like, I'm still starstruck, but not in the sense where I'm like, ah, but it's still like when we're hanging, <laughs> you know, and it, it's crazy because one of my good friends, One Ton from Potluck, is now his tour manager. Wow. And and they all hang. And me and One Ton are just, yo, yo, man, how are the kids? Da, 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 da. But me and him just don't have that relationship yet. I'm sure it will get there eventually. But there's always been a little bit of intimidation factor on my part. And so I've always been, like, very uh, uh, withheld, you know? So. Yeah, so if you hear this Tech 9, come over here and give – Give him a hug. Give me a hug. He needs that's a hug. Crazy. He needs a hug. Tech nine. Hey. Tech nine. If you want to come on the podcast, all you got to do is holler at us. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Cliff, that's nothing. Bro, <laughs> Cliff, bro, Cliff, can I have a hug? Yes, of course. You all can bro. get a hug. Hey, Thank you. I like free hugs. I mean, <laughs> hey, what the? Uh, nah, but Tech Nine is such a dope dude. It's, for, to me, he's uh, he's in my top five, and I grew up listening to Tech Nine. Like this dude is so dope. They wanna like, bro. Tech to me is like, for me, he's one of the goats. And I did a reaction well, to him his, recently. His longevity is crazy. Bro, he's 25 years or something. And uh, bro, I there's this song, The Anthem. I think it's got KRS-One. It's got, I yes. think, Eminem. Eminem. Yep. 
bro, dun 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 When I woke up, I the mic and never, bro, that song is so hard. And then that's the first time I heard Tech. That's like 90 something. That's early days Eminem. Truth. And now Tech Nine sent me a DM. I'm like, what the fuck? And I can't, I can't, it doesn't register with me sometimes that I'm like, am I talking to this dude? That it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, pinch me in in in, in that type of sense. Yeah. I don't, and, you, that, and, and you got a huge shout out for him too, just recently. On your bro, I'm like, what the? Yeah, I'm like, what? Yeah. It's, cr it's crazy. It's that. crazy that you said it just real quick on that Tech Nine thing. It's real crazy because I literally, not until y'all, I had no clue who Tech Nine was. I only knew who Tech Nine was in battle rap. I knew him from Philly. You yeah, know, I know what from, you're talking you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, I know the battle rapper tech dog. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. battle rapper tech nine. You know what I'm saying? So when <laughs> yeah. I was introduced to him, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, because for, for those watching, Dom follows the battle scene. Like, really? Damn, like, bro. Like, that's, Look like that's the Grinch. Thing. You were like this. Yeah. <laughs> I Like, I didn't at first, like, keeping it 100. Like, I didn't know, because like, 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 Knox just said, I'm, I'm a, I kind of, battle rap is just kind of like my thing. That's why I, so it was like, I always like, that was a big ass part, but like, yeah, I didn't know. And then I was like, oh damn, who is this tech dad dude with all this? He like the king of like, you know what I'm saying? These rhyme schemes. Uh, he just has oh, a song, yeah. platinum song with Kendrick. You know, he just put on like Chris Calico. Yeah, he was on, hey, 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 hey Dom, know, speaking, of, speaking of battle rap, one thing I think you'll appreciate, you know, the, uh, the Benzino disc, you know what rap I listened to right before I wrote my uh, Benzino disc? What? Daylight versus King Lowe's. <laughs> we talking about a fact. Don't get me started, cause I bro. Even I watched that shit. That's hard. Even Let's I watched that one. That's man, hard. Man. That was a fire one. Who you had taken the battle? See, I'm an MD boy, right? So uh -huh. King Los being from B more, like uh -huh. I was rooting for Los, but like I feel like Daylight in Daylight the third is, man just did bro. what Daylight does. Like I I, I feel like he was playing yeah. with food almost. Like he was like reeling them along, like keeping them close. Like different he was just planet, bro. making Daylight it entertainment. And then he just kind of showed that he's just he, he's on a different plane. Yeah, he a different. Planet. Like I'm still I'm still catching daylight shit. Like when you think about yeah. it and replay it back, you know what daylight I mean? savings, like, man. Damn. Yeah, I had to pay for that, bro. I had to pay to watch that pay per view, bro. When yeah, I, when did that you pay for that happened. one? I paid shit. for that, bro. <laughs> Should have waited shit. for that shit to come out. High ass pay per view. All That's right, wild, anyway, <laughs> next up, what's what's the origin story though? Cliff, who, who, man, Cliff, go give it me. to Cliff. Oh shit! All right, YouTube. Um, how did my origin start? That was back in. So it was like December of 2020. Uh, I didn't even know. Like, I knew YouTube existed, obviously, but I didn't know anything about reaction videos or anything like that. Uh, for most people who know my story, is I got some weird ass diagnosis with my doctor because uh i caught covid and then it like started yeah it started attacking my organs and shit jesus uh, yeah so i lost like fucking my fat ass lost 50 pounds in like two weeks um and i was just like this guy's out here fucking <laughs> out here. <laughs> hey man hey come relax guys come on respect hey, it Hey man, man let me talk the, about my the, fat ass, right? Hey, <laughs> the, the only reason we're laughing is because of the disc, not because it's of your, the, that, that is because the story. Really, yeah. But the way he said it, we look like assholes now. Like, Cliff, like, Cliff, like, Cliff literally, man, it was so. It definitely was like he threw that shot. He definitely was like my fat ass. Like, oh, <laughs> listen, I'm hey, two hundred and five pounds. Like, all right, man's over here. Like I almost died, and we're just laughing like fat yeah, ass. Like, it's like it has nothing to do with that. Like, like. Like, yeah, yeah, it's that is, five pounds. It's oh, Freddy Krueger. Sorry, it's sorry, Cliff. Go. go. No, I don't give a fuck. Oh, Laugh God. it up, man. It's fun. It's funny no. to me now that I look back on it anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, so basically, um, I got this weird ass diagnosis. I didn't start losing weight till I started making the videos, though, because it happened like this over like a two week period. So it was like December 28th. I was laying in bed. COVID had my studio shut down. By the way, I've been a songwriter for like the past 14 years. I got signed in 2010. Um, I was facing five to 10 years in prison. My label was getting ready to drop me. Um, but one of my friends who was already a mainstream artist, uh, basically wanted me to help out with a project. My label said, go ahead and give it a shot. It blew up. It did well. And then I got a, a three year extension as just a ghostwriter. And then it just carried on to 14 years later. This will be my 14th year this year. Um, but 
I was sick of going into my label all the fucking time and doing all the recording sessions there. So I saved up my money, um, working multiple jobs, not just writing. Bought my own studio um, in 2019. And as soon as I bought that shit a year later, we had COVID hit. And of course, we had to shut the fuck down. We had people mailing or uh, like emailing in verses and shit and sending shit in that way. And it was just getting very annoying, but I couldn't do much. I'm not an engineer. I'm just a writer, you know, so I could just send my verses in from home, but it wasn't the same. So I was laying in bed one day and I got that weird diagnosis and I was like, fuck, like if this shit is what they're saying, it could be, I have nothing to really leave behind. So I, I was like, what can I, what can I do to like, let people know like what I do besides like my family and people close to me. I was like, you know what, let me, let me go break down some music. So I hopped, uh, I grabbed my phone and um, I knew a little bit about like, I didn't, I didn't know what they were called, but one day it was like 2018. I think I was looking up walk on water cause it was getting trashed. And uh, I think I oh, saw yeah. revival got just yeah, completely yeah. trashed. Yeah, mm-hmm. It was getting trashed. And I'm like, how the fuck? I was like, I haven't heard it yet. Let me check it out. And I went to go click on the video and I accidentally clicked on who I know now is no life shack. And I'm like, who the fuck is this motherfucker? Like, why is why am I watching him and not Eminem? But I got like maybe two minutes in and I was laughing my ass off. I was like, dude, this dude is hilarious, but I gotta go watch this fucking song and see what it's about. So I was like, you know what? Maybe instead of me like doing a, a like a, a entertainment thing, I could break down the bars. So I, that's what I did. I set up my phone right here and I started breaking down the bars. And uh, I did a couple of the songs. And next thing I know, people were messaging me. I had like. 2000 subscribers in like a week or two maybe and everyone was just like hey like get some real equipment and you should have blow up i was like what are you talking about like get real equipment they were like like a camera and a mic i was like (laughs) i I was like what do i do where do i get that at like i didn't know you know i was like i don't know what you mean i didn't know how to set up my girlfriend had to set up this entire fucking thing for me and uh yeah man uh long story long story i basically just fucking started making videos i got introduced uh to ryan upchurch tom mcdonald and then harry mack and his team energy reached- exchange i remember seeing you on energy exchange i think yeah. that's the first time i saw you i think yeah i, I hit like thirty thousand subs in like a month and a half and yeah. uh yep. harry mack's team reached out to me i met up with iconic and shit, uh here in chicago and they asked me to come on the show i went on his happy hour and uh, after that, I mean, the channel just fucking took off. And mm-hmm. that's my origin story, man. And then YouTube approached me when I hit 100K subscribers asking me to uh, work with them for a salary, like not based off of my views and shit. And I was like, no, I'd rather grow organically. Like, thank you for the offer. But they're like, oh, stay in touch, this, this, and that, like being very nice. And then within a couple of weeks, my channel completely tanked. And I Yeah, wow. Channel. Was that, I was going to say, is that Dang, a fateful no. decision right there? Like, I didn't know that one. No, like here was the thing. Like I was in a weird spot because remember I signed as a, a recording artist. I wanted to be a rapper. Right. So I seen this as another like coincidental thing happening. And I was like, I w- I'd rather go my way this time versus having to go the route my label pushed me. in. I was like, let me just do this organically. I'll reach back out to you guys if I ever decide to. And I guess it bit me in the ass, but in the end, I prefer it this way because I'm not somebody's fucking puppet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh well, shit. That's why they mad at you, man. Well, that's well, when I started going through. All of it. There's, there's, there's the root of it. We've gotten to the root. Yeah, of it. that's but the root. We just figured I, it out. I think what's a great point though, Cliff, is like it's something we've all had to do, like with our videos. And you look at the quality now. Like it's not just creating content. We've had to learn video editing we've had to learn about the technicals of like lighting some, and setup and audio and, and everything some of us. we're not, we're not going to signal <laughs> anyone out okay ageism <laughs> is not allowed on this podcast there's no ageism here we laugh at me dying again <laughs> the two motherfuckers the two late right there oh man hey, but, man but that was it man that was basically the end of my story hey, this guy too he doesn't edit either this dude here this dude to the fucker that guy doesn't edit either which one what you what, dumb? What you type of oh, either? What type of Holy hand motions are you doing over yeah, there? You hate watch, that, watch, watch when you hey, start you, checking down there. You could get it. You could. You could get it. You can. <laughs> All y'all can get it, man. <laughs> Just point everywhere. I ain't about to mess no, with nobody. Whose voice no. is this deep? 
Hey, shit, All right, <laughs> no, but Dom, you don't edit either, do you? When I get on the nah, track. I don't, I don't nah, edit. Y'all don't edit. Y'all don't I just, edit. I if, I, if I sneeze, that, that bitch is staying right on in there. I like, mean, I, I, st like... I, I stopped editing my shit at a certain point. I was like, man, I just upload. I went to America. I saw BP was like, I play you. This is how I do it. <laughs> yeah, it's like shortcut. I Control think shift BP. Song. I seen BP. Oh, start stop. Like, I was like, what the fuck is like that? He's yeah. got some nice edits, bro. BP like, is smart. Like he catches your attention in the beginning, plays like a yeah. clip of what's but going on. But that's not an edit, bro. He's just switching in. scenes. Like, smart it's not edit. That's efficient. It's great. I literally knew BP was gonna take it's like, off. It's I like live editing. 40 year old, and like I saw all that stuff, and I was like, his shit about to blow up. That shit is I like so like formatted perfectly, like. Ironically, that came together because I don't know tech. So because I don't know how to edit, I had to figure out. I was like, yo, how can because when I started, there's a couple people who'd get in my inbox and give me a game. They'd be like, you need a cold open. And I was like, what's a cold open? Hit them with the, you know, hit them with what they're about to see for 10 to 15 seconds. And then me just being an entertainer and performing on stages, I knew about the intro, the interlude and the outro. And you always want to have these explosions yeah. in the middle of your concert, right when you come out in the middle and at the end, it just gives it a feng shui is what they call it. <laughs> oh, 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 he's using fancy words now. I don't now. know why that was so funny. <laughs> so <laughs> feng shui. Feng shui. <laughs> uh, but I just it, tried man. to incorporate that with the, with the, and I was like, bro, I ain't going to edit, bro. Cause I'm just not that. And it takes so long. And um, I was just like, yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to certain markers efficiently. Um, and I learned that from Travis O'Gwen from uh, um, from Strange Music because my first tour with Tech Nine was in 06 and he was popping. Everything was selling out and they were in these vans with trailers. And I sat down with Travis and I was like, hey, why aren't you guys in a tour bus? I don't get it. He is a superstar rock star. And he's like, because this tour, P, it's about efficiency. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But it's about efficiency, P. I was like, wow. So little you get sprinkled with game in your yep. experiences. And then it, it translated to YouTube for me. So that's where I was like, oh, shit. Efficiency. Let's go. That's Click. Fire. Yeah. That is Spe crazy, man. Speaking that's of e efficiency, I don't know. I'm just looking for a transition point. AR, it's your turn. <laughs> Hi, hey gang so uh i'll start uh, uploading these damn reactions in october no, november 13th 2020 i did a reaction to russ who wants what i was like you know what it was i saw shout out to stevie knight because i watched him a little bit do eminem breakdowns i was like oh hell yeah that's a like, homie but, shout out stevie yeah but he's the only one where i was like i like his reaction videos uh all the others i was like these guys are not adding anything. To what this. the There's no fuck? breakdowns. You Damn, weren't doing it yet, bro. What you weren't doing fuck? it. Wait, hold up. Were you doing it? Hey, I didn't know about you, bro. Hey, hold up. I what didn't know the you fuck? Hey, hell, hey, fuck them. Oh, shit. I'm caught. Stevie, <laughs> Stevie was so good. I love Stevie. Fuck, I came up with Stevie. You know what? I'm done with oh, He was like, I'm I was in the video with Stevie. What you're y'all talking y about? Everybody can catch these hands. No, I'm playing. You, 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 you. Oh, some Oprah shit. You I, get a I hand. Don't, no, I didn't know. So I knew BP because uh, Team Backpack. That's how I knew BP. He has one with Chris okay. Calico, Futuristic. Was mm. it? And Jeff Turner. And Jeff Turner. Jeff, bro, JT is yeah. a monster. Shout out. I miss P Team Backpack when it was Team Backpack. Now it's yeah. like World MC, but I missed them team backpack days, bro. Obvi, E Money, Flawless, Tokens come up. Yeah. I'm an OG. All right, so, 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 bro, he's so unintentionally funny, bro. That I, Coca Cola, man. Sorry, guys. It's got I a lot of energy today. <laughs> doing reactions 2020 November, and here we are. Mm -hmm. That's my story. And I rap. That's my story. Any beatboxes. I know beatbox. And your beatbox. Crazy. Your beatbox very well. yeah, I used crazy. to battle. I used to battle. Bro, that, was the, that was the most condensed, summarized story of us bro, all. You yeah, got to like, yours, bro, not. but you got to like <laughs> hit him with the good shit. My, my shit is a highlight reel just like that. <laughs> I mean, you did you did help me with the transition. I said efficiency. You were efficient as fuck with yeah, that. Yeah, you right see now, how hard bro. he did this? I feel like he yeah, chopped carrots I'm like that. Prepared. I'm prepared. Bro, I just, <laughs> I just dropped the diss track. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, Shameless plug. Is he plugging it? He's plugging it. On oh, Anthony Ray music, on Anthony Ray music, which will obviously be in the description. Damn. Hey, Did hey, you? I, I got a question for you. When you got started, because obviously you could speak other languages. So 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, good point. Good, 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 good thing to say. I am not American. <laughs> that's good to add. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, did, did you find a different sort of degree of difficulty? Because obviously, especially with rap, yeah. like there's so many references that if, if you're yeah. not like in the culture necessarily, or get like some of the English slang, you might not necessarily catch as much. Okay. So uh, there's two things I want to, I want to say, I'll just write this shit in the, in the chat. So I don't forget cliff beard that's one of the things so uh i'm belgian right so my my primary language that i got to my uh artillery is dutch right and i speak a bit of french english is kind of like my native tongue is dutch but and then it's english because yeah. you know just i don't know growing up i consume a lot of american culture so that's how I developed this this U.S. accent uh, in a way. It's kind of like a U.S. accent, oh, whatever. I could live in USA. Nobody would notice I was not from the USA. People yeah. people don't know unless I tell them, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there's that. It is to a degree more difficult than, let's say, if I have to compete with Unox breaking stuff down, I lose. Right? I, don't I, think, I don't think anybody should try to compete with me. It's fucking exhausting trying to do oh, my I, level of breakdowns. I, it's bro, just... Yeah. I don't I recommend that job for anybody. Don't do it. It's a bro, bad idea. Is, reactor. Bro, I got a secret. I'm going to reveal right here about Knox. So when I first started seeing, I always loved his music, but I was a bit jealous because I was like, man, I know this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I break this. Day. And then I was watching him break this shit. Then I was like, Oh shit! Damn, I did miss. You it. saw the light. You saw the light with this dude. You saw the light. I said, you "Look oh, at the light." I was like, "Damn, he he caught all that shit like that." I said, "Damn, I missed the whole damn sentence." What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I was like, "Damn, he the bar like break down like King for real." Like, I don't, I, I ain't never seen nobody dissect it. He be like, you know, da -da 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 -da. okay, man, okay, Knox. Oh god, damn, bro. Damn. <laughs> Also, also I want to oh, add Nick. <laughs> bro. <laughs> White snake moan. Bro, you got already, Cliff Beard. Already oh, wrong side. Wrong side. Bro, AR already bro. threw shots at me in the beginning. Bro. Now he's back again. Uh, yo, uh, this is this is just like bro Dumb. fun, bro. This Dumb. is just Dumb. Dumb. Thank messing you. around. Thank, thank you for the love, Dom. I know it was yeah, AR's yeah. turn, and he's mad yeah. because you cut uh, in on it. his turn. But thank it's you okay. for the flowers, Dom. It's okay. Well, I'll, okay. give Ant I'll give you flowers too, Anthony, bro. I don't want no damn flowers, man. Get that <laughs> out of damn, my face, bro. Just, <laughs> bro, you say, bro, you say to my DMs you wanted flowers. <laughs> hey, man, damn. I want smoke, man. This is I'm on some Knox Hill this year because I remember Knox Hill saying, 2024, mm. I'm on some other shit. I want all the smoke. So I just oh, adapted. I was like, oh, hell yeah. I, you know when Knox is like bro, in the you group chat? And he's you like, man, I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to drop this Benzino disc. I'm like, hell yeah, man. Drop that shit, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Like, bro, bro, Let's that go, story bro, that you shared when you had the track playing in your car, like just like the fucking bro, voices. That like, shit was crazy. Like, yeah. Yo, bro, this shit's hilarious. I've oh, never yeah. seen so, someone whole hype. So, yeah. So I wanted to say also to the my, you know, super special non-relevant origin story that I, I – I only watched a few. Stevie Knight just was just one dude I watched. And then there were two guys who, in the car. I don't know if y'all remember. And they were only like breaking down mainly Eminem. Two dudes. I in the know Kev who you're and some. About. It's like Kev and some other dude. Two homies in the car. They stop. Huh. And then Rock reacts. Those two were fired. Oh, yeah. Why did they Bro, break up, man? I they wish they were still together. Of, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It, and one of John, them is John's big. still doing really well. John, John Denton's Denton? still doing well. Yeah. And the wrestle, the wrestle man who looks like the who looks like the prawn star. Who is in, you know, like the the bald prawn? He looked like that, bro. He looked like he's banging it. What's his name? Johnny? Prawn store. Prawn star. You the said prawn. Oh. Porn star? <laughs> Damn, man, I'm you, trying to censor. You you ain't supposed to say that on YouTube. Damn, we're about to get demonetized <laughs> on a non-monetized channel. I'm sorry. You say you say corn or prawn. Yeah, it's all good. You can't say that word good. on YouTube. No, you no, can, they, but certain things get flagged, like O, like the OF. If you say the full thing, you could get age restricted just for yep, saying yep. actually. Oh, or what? COVID uh, corn. COVID yeah. ID. You must start mentioning that too much. It gets, it gets like that. It gets flagged for like that stuff. Y'all don't know what? I'm, yeah. Y'all never had yeah. that. No. 2020 baby well hey, i have i have a family friendly channel over here what are all these words did, you're, you're dropping did y'all know this is, did this know? is unbelievable this is not disney i did not sign up for this podcast i'm gonna spit some call game my, there's a feature on youtube game. it's uh it's audio recognition they got this ai software now if you say subscribe 
the subscribe button lights up. Did y'all know that? Subscribe. <clears throat> This is a new feature. What? I don't know if y'all know what? this, but I saw this on my videos. I'm like, I say like, yo guys, if you want to subscribe here, my subscribe button did like, bing when oh, I said wow. it. That's, you definitely that's amazing. You happen right now, for real. I'm Bro, serious. That's, it's that's, like that's what I do on my phone with TikTok. I'm always like, I love China. I love China. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok whole, is awesome. That's how reactions. you get subscribers, I'm telling you. All my reactions are gonna be like subscribe, 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 right, subscribe, right, subscribe, right, subscribe, right, subscribe, right. subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. They said, What's the Live Beats right? drops his first song. Yo, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's funny you said that because you so everyone's been asking me about this fucking uh Knox Bond character, um, about responding back to him. I always said, like, look, obviously I can't legally release any music to the public without it being under my label, right? But if I was ever to respond to anybody, it would have to be worthy. It would have to be somebody that dissed me that was worth it to me, yeah. like to, to climb in that ring. If it was somebody that almost shot himself in the face while recording I, a music video. I don't know, yeah. man. Pre, Pre Malone brought it. Like Slim Jesus is coming. Pre Malone. Yeah, it's it's Crack, Miller. Coming. Crack Miller was on some shit, I guess. Uh -huh. I got to watch Nelly from Recess hit ass boy. <laughs> And now hey, I want to trans I want to transition to AR talking about Cliff Beard. What are we talking about, Cliff Beard? Uh, uh so uh, that's got the, the hell was ready. that? Said, huh? Fuck Cliff. What the what the fuck? So the thing Why I want to say about Why are you so aggressive today? You I'm, are on a I'm different with, type of energy today. It's because you know I'm tired as fuck. It's like 7 p.m. But I'm with my boys, man. The <laughs> boys. That's what it is. Let's go. I'm with the boys. Bro, you know how long I've been. Fucking waiting to do this podcast just to talk shit. I know, I know. Just to I talk know. shit. I love waffling, bro. Just to talk crap. You said you love waffles. I love waffle house. I love too, waffles bro. too, bro. Fucking Let's, 3 a.m. Waffle House. That is you the best drunk Sp recovery. Belgium ever. waffles. Oh, yeah. incredible, bro. Boys, what are we going to Belgium? I feel and like I we, like, need a, we, need a, we need a boys' trip to Belgium. Hell yeah. I could show y'all the red light district, man. That shit is legal here. I thought that was Amsterdam. My flight's booked. It's also here. <laughs> you got a bunch of stuff. Cliff. I haven't done it. Cliff, Cliff you have a girlfriend. Stuff. Cliff, Cliff, she might what? watch this. Who said so? I didn't say anything. Cut that out. Cut that out. You cut that shit out. Cliff, I hey, yo, cat, 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 <laughs> clip that. I was asking <laughs> about <laughs> Cliff, all right. right. Hold open. <laughs> I was. Hold over that. <laughs> I said I want to know about Cliff Beard. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> In this episode, I, I, I want to go to the red light district. <laughs> Cliff Beard. You, you should you should become Cliff Beard though. I think you uh, you have like the best beard genetics out of us. So what I wanted to say about Cliff Beard for one, yeah, he does. I grew this stuff out in honor of Cliff Beard. I I just want to say that I how okay, I did we it. Get a round of applause, please. That's a that's a that's a beautiful moment. What I did, damn, was, legend, loud ass clips. Sorry, gang. Sorry, I've been. <laughs> what I did was I so to grow my beard follicles because I had nothing. I just watched and studied Cliff Beard. And then I just gathered and grew. Did you, like, did you do a Avatar Just for shit. Men plan? No, I just you, Cliff, watched. Cliff. I consumed Cliff Beard. I consumed Cliff Beard. I consumed Cliff Beard content. When he was talking about going through the whole struggle, losing 50 pounds for his fat ass, I consumed content of Cliff Beard. No, but what did I want to say? Like, guys, stop this. Hang on, hang on. Oh, excuse me. Old, old, <laughs> old fellow over there. <laughs> Are you you okay? I'm gonna be all right. good. I'm gonna yeah, what did I miss? Learn. What did I miss? What are you doing? Vance, Vance in the nursing home over here. <laughs> He's getting defibrillated oh, as we go shit. talking. Like, what the fuck's going on over here? Bro, we're, honestly, I'm sick of shit too. Like we're all we're all kind of yeah. Like, I'm, I got a fucking right fever now. right now, bro. You've had a fever for two months. Bro, I've been yeah, sick. Yeah. Bro, my daughter's in school. It's just, and I'll oh, work it's out awful. like. Like, we got three bro. dads here. You know, like, they go to school and they just, like, that's the greatest gift bro. school can give you. So they come back with, like, new fucking viruses <laughs> to give you every and day. And I'll work out. Like, here, cardio. dad, let me cough on like, your face. There you go. Have it. Yep. I'm yeah. ill, bro. I'm flexed. I, I feel 47, bro. Kids are uh, sneezing your face, too, and shit. Like, I'm like, I should have beat the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like, my but, immune system but, takes a beat, bro. Like, <laughs> but I can't. Have okay, kids. It. Wait till y'all hit 40. Wait. I'm, it's coming from I'm, all. It got silent. It got I'm, real silent. Bro, but like, <laughs> wait, I'm like, wait, wait, like, wait, 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 Some of us, that's like in four years. I'm very close. Hey, there. I'm almost. Hey, VP, you know yeah. what I love is like, you know, you've taken like the this is 40 and like you've just like, 
there's so much more energy i feel like that you've injected into it instead of being like yeah this is fucking 40 this is depressing yeah. it's like this is this is going to be the best goddamn decade of my life like i just feel that energy from you you know what i mean like it gives me hope it gives me hope when i turn 40 like let's fucking go i'm ready i'm gonna ride yeah, it I on a unicorn to... Yeah, man, I'm trying to have fun with it. Dude, so what's you crazy is you don't even look 40, bro. That's what's no. crazy. No, you're like you don't I, look 40. I sometimes look older. Oh, but, I yeah. like hey. but I dance like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say he looks a fun, young. A fun fact, actually, they say for most men, the happiest they are is when they turn 47 years old. Like that's the happiest time period in their life. I don't know. Sure, bro. Where did 40, you get that stat yeah. from? Who said that, that man? That's scientifically proven. You can't just old quote ass. something and not old have a reference. Number. Like, what is that? Old ass. Yeah. Google it. Google yeah. it. Cat, bring up the stats. I'm, that's not even here. Cat's not here right I'm now. I'm just going to choose to hey. believe you, bro. Well, that's why he's like, let's I'm... go to the red light district. He knows Cat's not there. If Cat was there, he'd be saying different things right now. No, I'd say the same stuff, bro. I'd be key. I'd say that stuff. I shared a bunch of stuff with her when we were talking on the editing. She, what Cat did, was, what did you... Cat was, <laughs> bro, Cat was like, yo, can I see them nudes that you got from the last stream? I was like, say Cat less. would never say that. Say less. I got you. And I got you, fam. And then I just sent them true. Knox, if you want them, I got you too, man. I did I didn't I, just send them out of the blue. I, I would never want that. Please send them soon. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. Hold I've on. already got them. Hi. They already because get they want. Up. Nah, I'm playing, guys. I would never do that unless it was, it's I was given joke. approval. It's, it's all, a joke. I, I don't do this. Come it's on. all <laughs> jokes. Yeah, I don't know. You know, he, I got so, snapped. But yeah, let me no, finish my jokes. damn point, Dom. Damn. So uh Cliff Beats. I'm sitting that guy your way, bro. You just started right. Smack the shit out of him. Cliff, Cliff, no, no, I play. I love you. Because I'm scared. Cliff, no, bro, I love you. Shut up. Cliff Beats beard started after me. Like I think a month, like 2020 December or 2021, something around that time. I remember. And so me and Cliff, our channel is like the same age in uploading and stuff. So I just wanted to add that here that I love Cliff Beats. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's yeah. good. Oh, but you, you hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but you get on me for giving Knox his flowers, bro? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this about? You oh, can't give me flowers, sick. but you give Cliff his flowers. That's all great. Here, Cliff, here's uh, some fucking roses and some daisies for you. <laughs> fresh from fucking Belgium. Wait, and, oh, hey, 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 okay. We gonna start talking shit on this shit? All right, say less. <laughs> hey, we all, y'all, y'all in America, all y'all in America, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who who visited BP? Who? What? You did. What are you talking about? Who visited Black Pegasus? You did. Well, why why are you getting so close, bro? Like, huh? put the pecs huh? away. Yeah, well, put the pecs it away. It took a guy. It took a guy from a Belgium day. to fly out to BP before all y'all. Wow. We are so happy you did. You yeah, did. like somebody had to do it. Thank God it was you. Yeah. Yeah, you punched. I needed you know someone I mean? to. You punched the wall before you got on here. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I'm tired as fuck, bro. I just want to go to bed. I ain't gonna like. Lie I'm after, listen. After this, I got. After this, I got to shower my daughters. I'm, I'm like, bro. Bro, I'm. I'm so glad that somebody went to check on BP because after watching what he's been doing the, over nah, here nah, in the I'm corner, the only, like just nah, sneakily, hey. like sniffing shit. Like BP, back me up. He needs it. Back me up, BP. Back me up. Back me up. I'm done. I'm done with the jokes. BP, I'm done. You know I love. He's rubbing Vicks vapor rub. I know. Why am I firing shots? He's been, over here. Like, he's been so chill. chill. <laughs> he's been so chill this whole podcast. Like, uh, yeah. I'm not, but no, nah, real talk. I waste no time telling people like how chill BP is. Like his vibe is like that, which is scary as hell. Cause you know, since people want to talk about them doing jujitsu and stuff, you know what I'm saying? He really be out here doing it. I be seeing him like you know what i'm saying doing his stuff what you what you do uh bp <laughs> what is it jujitsu yeah. or is it uh yeah i do a little bit of this a little bit of that you know, you know? what i'm saying yeah like yeah, stop playing with me uh, we got real choke holders out here you know yeah, most people gotta... who train don't brag about it by the way unless they like post content like of them rolling i have most a con yeah. i have a compact a combat <laughs> certificate the fuck is that i don't know what the fuck that is <laughs> yeah. Bitch, yeah. i can break i can break eight bricks yeah. i have a black the belt from bitch. I got a high nah, school man. fucking thing with my fucking name on it too. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's going about conversations and DMs that he's had with certain uh, people. We will not. It's like Lord Voldemort. We're not going to name too many names. We're not going to name too we many names. We don't, don't want to give too much attention. Yeah, so I this think podcast is not going to be about 
other people. I think uh, I'm saying, dissing. So I think yeah. I think it's on me now to finish the origin story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, bro, this took a, this one hour of origin story. I <laughs> my guy, Knox uh, was here. My God, this we were recording for about twenty minutes beforehand. So millions of yeah. subscribers. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, we're good. Go. We got we got like we got like twenty minutes. I think yeah. to keep it in the hour mark. But yeah, so I mean, BP. You know, it's funny. Like coming up as a rapper and as a hip hop artist, like. For me, YouTube was always secondary. I didn't place that much value on YouTube. So, like, I just checked. My first video was in song was 14 years ago, right? Because, like, you're doing shows. You're, I'm traveling up and down the East Coast. Like, I'm still selling CDs out of my fucking trunk and shit. So, like, YouTube I always saw as, like, bonus content. You know what I mean? Like, you, you get what you can. You put shit out on there. But you're really trying to make it in real life, aren't you? Because it's still... It's still the era, I guess, in between of like shows can get you seen by ARs. You know, you hit that show circuit, you do the open mics, you do the freestyles, you do all this shit, you do the battles. Like that's how you can you can get heard. And then for me, like, you know, where I'm from and coming up, it was either, you know, it's either sports or it's music to kind of help get you out of your situation. So thankfully, I was blessed at both. Like I was a really good soccer player. So mm -hmm. like soccer opened up doors and opportunities for me to travel and to go play in other countries you know which i was lucky to do like i i was paid to kick a ball with my foot basically like did i ever make it at the highest of levels no it was always like second and third level leagues and lower leagues but you know i still made enough to survive and i made enough to live in other countries and and do what i love and, and play a sport but like my decision at that time was like yo my body's only gonna last so long you know so i need to prioritize sports first because music i can make for the rest of my life you know music is something that's never going to leave you so like once this all ends i'll have music but what i did was i always kept writing i kept you know working honing my craft releasing videos when i could like on breaks in between i'd fly back home i'd film music videos i'd get shit done i try to do a couple shows on summer breaks and you know just like it never really stopped and then for me unfortunately like so many injuries like i just was plagued with injuries i remember like my senior year in college which is a big prove it year before you get drafted like i tore the fuck out of my ankle and i played through it that season so i played the whole season hurt i didn't actually practice once because that's just the american system and what's so different if i was in like europe i'd be in academy they'd sit me out they'd take care of me but that has done so much damage to me in my career unfortunately playing through that but i had a hell of a year i mean i broke every single scoring record at my school that year that i still hold to this day and I'm not giving away my age yet, but that's fucking crazy. Still hold the assist record, the scoring record, and all that shit. But, like, I never had a healthy season after that. So, like, eventually, like, wherever I was, I'd get in, I'd do well, then I'd get hurt. And then I'd sit there, and I'd have to go through physio, and i have to recover again. And that's where music really helped me, like, cope with that. Because it's like, you keep doing that, it's like fucking madness, eventually, at the end of the day. And um, I would say... I think there's a theme with us like when COVID hit COVID really shifted and changed a lot of things so for me like i was just tired of being hurt and injured all the time and like i've had surgery on this ankle i've had injections i've had so much shit that finally it was like well what else can i do and then i knew the daughters were on the way and we had them and all of a sudden when you're a dad there's like a difference between just getting by and providing for your shithead self and all of a sudden having other people you have to provide for <laughs> yeah yeah. So, you know, that just like shifted focus for me. And it was like, holy shit, what else can we do? And I, you know, finishing off, wasn't making enough, took another job, working multiple jobs, and I kept doing YouTube. And then all of a sudden, I'll never forget the day, like, the YouTube was doing pretty well. I think just as a musician, we got to like 20,000 subscribers, which is, you know, really solid just doing music, as you guys know. Reactions, obviously, you can leverage and grow a lot quicker. But when you're doing original music, it's really hard to grow that. Like, I was oh. proud of that. But like I saw, I think it was a crypt reaction and I saw some other dudes react and I started to get interested in it because I'm like, hang on, these guys are rappers too. Like they're doing reactions. And then they're also taking advantage of that growth to plug their music. And I'm like, I feel like there's a lane for this. And then I started doing my research on reaction channels and I was like, there's nobody, I, did, I didn't come across anyone at that time that was really like deep diving and breaking down lyrics and shit. Like you guys know the level that I go. And that's kind of how I've always listened to music. Like I, I should show, I could show you pages and pages of notes, like me growing up and all the come up, like listening to M and like the immortal techniques and the Nas's and just like the shit that I talk about in my reactions is the shit that I've always kind of done. 
And I just felt like, you know, there's like a, there's a niche in the market here. There's like something maybe people will appreciate. And I remember getting started and like doing these reactions. I had so many fucking complaints because people weren't used to like the 30 minute videos. They're like too much pausing. This is too long and shit. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to ignore him. I'm going to keep going. Like I'm going to stick to my process. Cause I believe like if I bring my best quality and help people appreciate a song and just think about it differently, then I'm making timeless content. And hopefully they'll start sharing it through word of mouth and the right people will start to come in and the right audience will start to build. And I mean, COVID is really when I hit it hard. Cause there were so many unknowns at the time. I got my girls here. I got debts and it's like, fuck it, let's go. And then things just really started to build and started to snowball from there and kind of take off. And then obviously we are where we are today. Yeah. Mm. You, know, real, you, know what's, yeah. you know what's interesting to connect all those stories? As much as I hated 2020, and I personally went to a very dark place because I know everyone did, but I went through, through some extremes that I won't even bring up here. Um, but it's interesting because out of the darkness comes the light and yeah. all of us have a segue story that kind of it kind of the portal opened for all of us in 2020, whether it be like the monetization for Dom or like all of us went through something in 2020 that brought us to this unique moment. I think that's interesting to highlight after you ended that, Knox, because I knew some of your story from watching some of your interviews. But as you highlighted it there. I just thought that was a unique um, center point that all of us hit today. Something about 2020 really got the ball rolling for everyone, which is very ironic for how dark and like the world changed. As yeah, we know right. it, nothing will be the same, yeah. you know, but at the same time from good comes bad, you know, you know, the cliche, someone dies and then a the baby's born, like same concept, but it's, it's kind of real. And it was all just said right here from all of us. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, th I think you're right. Like, you know, things happen in life and things that are out of our control and what I think defines our characters and defines us is how do we adapt and react to them? You know, do we take negatives and do we wallow in it and do we let it push us down or do we find a way to rise up for it? You know, do we yeah. find a way to overcome it? And I feel like if you look at the trajectory of our channels, our grind, our work, everything that we've put into building these communities and, and these platforms, you know, we've, we've taken some negatives and, and we found a way to find the brighter sides of them. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. It's crazy, like, because even in, um, I'd say 2019 was actually when I was uh, really sick, um, when I got diagnosed with GAD, which is Generalized Anxiety Disorder. Um, I was working um, third shift at Kroger's, and I remember um, I got put off work for seven months on sick leave, and that was the most, I have no clue. I ain't never seen no what the hell <laughs> <laughs> hey, in the chat. Hey, you said a private over. chat <laughs> you're, you're sharing what? such a heartfelt story <laughs> i'm trying to listen to dom and y'all just laughing if this, this pops so... up in the recording dude this is gonna be because you're sending so dick emojis bro. in the chat just... what are you talking about i just asked how old is Knox. oh my god you sent us a dick there's a there's in this the audacity like... I didn't even think to make that like okay, but anyway, the audacity. Perfect. Okay, so, Dom, so I apologize on behalf of these two above me. It's grow up. It's, they, your kids, they, your children. They, they, yeah, it's it's, it's just a, it's a mess. So <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying before, I got dickly interrupted. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I saying? I got fucking ADD and all. We got dicks popping. You were diagnosed. Yeah, no. <laughs> you were diagnosed. <laughs> You were diagnosed. I was What's diagnosed. I was diagnosed. I can't get that out of my head. This is sick. <laughs> um, this I was diagnosed um, in 2019. Okay. And I was on sick leave for seven months. Um, it took the entire wow. seven months for me to... I mean, it was, it was darkness. I'm talking about I woke up. And we could save this for if we the topic is mental health or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But just long story short, it was just, it was really darkness. I could not, I had to have the shades closed uh, because I couldn't see the light. Anytime I seen the light, my anxiety would trigger and I couldn't walk across the street. It was like I had to be taught wow. how to be a baby again. It was weird. Um, and then they gave me all these medicines here, take this, try this and try. I'm like, bro, nothing is working. Yeah. Nothing. I say, I don't know if my brain is just too strong, pause, but I'm like, I just don't know if this is like working, bro. Like, 
<laughs> my breakfast. The, why? Why the pause, bro? I was like, there was no need for that. Bro. That was a double right there. That was no one was thinking about that. Bro. I'm not. That, I'm not letting. I'm, ain't ain't nothing. Man. I ain't letting it go, bro. I had to. Hey man, it. I'm trying to compose, bro. But I was literally like, bro, like I don't know if this nothing is working, bro. Like these are like empty pills, like, and I yeah. was like, you know, and sometimes I'd be wondering, like, are these doctors? J- this is another story, but like I said, if the doctors is just giving us stuff to make us think that this is working, is in another yeah. mental thing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I this, don't know. This is a conversation for Rumble, I think, man. Damn. I got an idea. Some of these uh, topics. Yeah, go ahead. No, you're good. <laughs> some of these topics. Uh, I was going to say, I think anybody here in this group that does deal with GAD or uh, you know panic attack disorders and stuff like that, we could do a separate podcast one day and post it on the channel for those who are comfortable discussing it some people yeah. don't want to discuss it of course me and don we talk all the time off to the side so we could do a separate episode on that for those who do, do suffer with that shit <laughs> and we don't have to see dicks popping up 24 7 when ar is in the private chat he has a dick going into a hole right now in the private chat what the fuck now it's got <laughs> ass, now it's ass cheeks okay i'm communicating yo can cat see this no, cat's not here. It's us. <laughs> I, it's just, yeah. I'm the admin what, right now. What, what? You really are a child. Like you're asking like a parent here or something. Is the parent not here? Oh, it's okay. BP, nah, I want to know. Get your son, penis. Man. Cat, get your son, no. man. Cat told me I, I'm the most foul mouthed. Like my, what I say is crazy, but this makes sense because I I'm the youngest. Oh, no, the man. hell you ain't. <laughs> yes, I am, bro. Yeah. How, wait, how? Okay, how old are you? How old are you guys? Huh? BP's 29. I know that. So how old is the rest? Yeah. I'm about to be what hold on. 44. Oh, yeah. I'm about to be 44. Yep. In like two. You ain't no three, damn 44. 44 bars. No. Yep. Yep. And, and oh, March 24th. Are you serious, bro? I'm wow. an 80s baby. Bro, yes, what do you we gotta do something for your birthday? We gotta yeah. do it. Hey. We gotta do a birthday podcast. He's Belgium, it is. Belgium it is. <laughs> I <laughs> Belgium it is. <laughs> boys. <laughs> Strip, stripper cake. Have some uh, one of us pop out. Oh, oh well, Dom, Dom, that's you, baby. I'm yeah. gonna be the goddamn. I'm gonna be the cake. What the fuck? Like, some, yeah, oh, have oh, me oh, a penis emoji. Yo, hey, 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 hey. This is a great episode. You're yeah. not gonna pause it. Like, yeah, I know. Open. That's no? a super pause. Just gonna leave it out there. Yeah, just I, leave it open. It's that, fine. I yeah. know you got a strong brain, but damn. <laughs> you got that cake too. Brain. You cake. Heavy thinker, you know. I mean, you got that, those cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just love how we could take like we've had some really serious moments on this first podcast, yeah. and then we've just found a way to just like completely crush those moments with just us being us. But well, yeah, I this think, is us. In real I think life. that listen, I think that's the thing though. Like you know, listen, life is hard as shit. We all know that. We've all been through shit. We've all got stories we can share. But like, if you can't laugh, you know, that's laughter is the best medicine, isn't it? Like, yeah, yep. we all joke and we all laugh because that's how that's how we deal with shit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, people take things too serious. I'm just here to have fun, man. Like, no. I'm just having fun with Yo, you guys, bro. I love it, you guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts. I love I'll you guys too. There. Listen, I don't, I don't really want to talk shit, but like AR, just because you've been, you've been on it today, like that little plaque back there. What is that? Is that a little silver plaque that you have in your fit? That's really cute. That's, that's really cute. Oh, can, oh, can, oh, can, oh, can you bring it to the front? Okay, hang on. I, I I gotta use two hands for this. Hang on, hey, he he not just hit. He not just disobey. Oh, he dissed. Bro, he dissed oh. all of us, bro. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah, all right. Yo, all right, my cool. face, like, look how big that is. It covers my whole body. You know what? It's almost right. as big as your head, bro. It's, wow, it's, it's not that big, now. Nah. Just relax. Wow, look at look. He's making notes. He's making, Paul, he's, no. he's making a kill list right now. He's got the lipstick out. He's writing down. Oh, I'll yeah. just send an email to everybody. Oh, wait, you better oh, react to this. Are oh, you on my hit list? Knox, is that the gold one or is that sick? I can't goddamn that's, say it. That's the is that fucking silver? That's gold right there. That's that's, that's, that's from that's from Susan, baby. That's from Susan. That's, that's gold. A that's a knocks off. That's gold. <laughs> that's a, bars. That's, that's fine. All right. You guys got to see 12 inches live yeah, on the crazy. first podcast on the word. <laughs> I've been seeing it in my private chat this whole time. What the fuck's that? Where? Cliff, you're not Where? supposed Double. to share these things with people. <laughs> Wait, hold on. But he made one, two, three. You made four of them. 
So who's supposed to be who, who's is who's? Cause you you not about you to make about? me the fucking smallest dick, bro. He's counting. He's counting them. I got bro. you, Donald. I got you. Oh, oh, you're counting. You're counting the emoji. Oh no, that's oh. crazy, bro. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be real. I'm be real. I'm gonna give Dom the. the... I'm black, bro. <laughs> no, yours is like yours. Yours needs like portals. <laughs> portals. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dom, like, Dom, it's, it's Dom's coming help. with that BBC, baby. British Let's Broadcasting go. Company, all right? Let's go. British, I'm, British I'm Broadcasting out, Company. He's I got it. Go British, him, yes, <laughs> British Broadcasting Company. Yes, that's what we were talking that's about. That's crazy. Oh, listen, I, I think this is a perfect spot to wrap up today. Listen, if you guys like the podcast, it's us talking about this. I'll put the link below so you can check out the full podcast channel of us children having more conversations we got a lot more you can stream it on apple podcast you can stream it on spotify everywhere now all links below we'll be back with more of this thank you so much for your time guys you want to sign us off adios baby i'm black <laughs> <laughs> i'm cliff beard the fat man and i'm uh that singer reactions the fat ass one for real i'm the youngest in the group you know <laughs> and I'm 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 not Stevie Knight, so I'm not Stevie Knight. <laughs> we appreciate uh, you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank Jeez. you guys. Peace, y'all.